Uh, I'm with a company called Fundera. We're a marketplace uh, for online business loans, and I will expound on that with my slides. For business loans. Um, so before I talk about what Fundera does, I kind of want to talk about what is happening with small business lending right now. So back in the day, if you were going to go uh, to the bank, you were most likely going to, to find your business loan there. But that's not what's happening right now. In fact, 82% of small business loan applications are denied by the big banks. That's leaving 14 million small businesses without the funding that they need to grow. This is obviously a very depressing statistic, but let's talk about why this is happening. So post-recession, these banks are tasked with eliminating more risk from their portfolio. So small businesses are inherently riskier than larger businesses, so these banks are having to decline their lending to the small business. Secondarily, small business owners, they're usually looking for, for smaller amounts of funds when they need financing. In fact, our average loan size is about $45,000. But for these banks, when they underwrite a large loan, it costs them just as much as it does to underwrite a smaller loan. So it's just not profitable for them to do large amounts of, of loans to small businesses. But that being said, if you can get a loan from a bank, you should take it. It's the lowest cost of capital available to you. But for those where it's not an option, there is a solution. And that solution is what Ramon mentioned earlier, which is the online lending industry, the alternative lending industry, which are these non-bank lenders that have really sprung up to help fill the void left by banks. There's a lot of advantages to the, the online lending industry. The first is uh, the fast, fast time to funding. Banks were talking it could take months. These online lenders are able to underwrite and approve in weeks, days, and even hours. Uh, they're shorter applications, so as a busy business owner, it's nice to know that you won't have to invest as much time in the application. Uh, and I also like that there's a diversity of product. It's no longer just your, your monthly term loan. You might be able to find something that better fits uh, your, your sort of use of funds, why you need the money. Uh, and then last, for the first time ever, there's finally options for people who have bad credit. If you had a bad credit score and you went to the bank, no matter what decade we were in, you really didn't have a shot. But now with these lenders, they, they take in uh, other things for considerations. They have algorithms that are strongly backed by technology. And finally, there's options available for those who may be struggling with their credit. Uh, for cons, those do exist. I think the most important to know is that an online loan will always be more expensive than a bank loan. In some cases, we're talking a few points. In other cases, we're talking astronomically higher. So absolutely keep that in mind if you are going online for a loan and you see those rates that might be a little bit intimidating. And second is, is, is a part of the industry people don't talk about as much, which it's really difficult to know where to go. Uh, you, you go, you search small business loans and thousands of lenders pop up saying the same exact thing. Who has the best customer service? Who's gonna give you the lowest rate? That's a difficult question to answer, but that's where Fundera comes in. We make it incredibly easy to shop these online lenders and find the lender and product that, it, that is obviously the best rate and the best fit for your business. The way we do this is with a common application. You fill out one application and you're able to apply to 25 plus lenders uh, with that one application. Throughout the whole process, you have a, a Fundera success rep who works with you to help you identify which lenders that you should be applying to uh, when you have the application out, if you have any questions on documentation, how to prepare that if you need templates, things like that. And then lastly, when you do start receiving offers, they're able to help you really compare them on an apples to apples basis, convert things to APR, identify any hidden rates, so you can honestly know who is giving you the lowest rate and who's giving you the best option for your business. And because of the makeup of our marketplace, we're able to offer a lowest rate guarantee to our borrowers. Uh, so on average, borrowers, when they go through Fundera, they're saving about $4,000 on their loan. So best of all, it's a little cut off, but Fundera is a free service for you. Uh, we make our money from the lenders. It's essentially a success fee. Uh, whenever a loan successfully funds, we receive a fee equivalent to a certain percent amount of the loan, and that is not something that is baked into the cost of the loan either. So just to give you a visual, again, with this one application, this one common application, you can apply to all these lenders, two which I believe are here today, uh, plus others. And so you can really kind of 
get, get a, a bird's eye view of the industry and what your potential offers are. Uh, so I'm happy to take questions uh, about Fundera and specifically what we do at the end, but I do want to leave you guys with, with two nuggets of knowledge uh, for, for what these online lenders are looking at, what our lenders are looking at. If you're taking notes, I'd write these six things down because this will help give you really, a really good idea of what your sort of uh, profile is as a borrower. And I just want to clarify a few things. Some of these speak for themselves. Um, when I say credit score, I mean your personal credit score. With these online lenders, they really put more emphasis on that than the business credit score. Uh, with current debt, so if you have a loan out with a lender right now, that's something that could potentially be an issue for other lenders because they don't want to take second position to another lender. Uh, for other lenders, it may not be an issue. Uh, and especially if your goal must pay down that debt, then it really may be a non-issue. Uh, and when I say cash flow, I want to say probably the most popular document request that we get from every single lender is going to be your bank statements. Some just need three months, some need a couple of years, but they want to know how are you managing your cash? Do you have NSFs? Those sorts of things. So be prepared to, to have kind of a, an understanding of what your cash flow looks like. If, if you've struggled with it in the past, maybe before you apply for a loan, you take a few months to make sure that your bank account really reflects that you are managing your cash healthily. And the, la the last thing I want to say, past history. These lenders are going to be pulling your credit report. What are they going to be looking at? They want to know things. Have you had a bankruptcy? Have you had a foreclosure? Uh, do you have a tax lien on your business? Any liens on your business? These aren't necessarily going to be prohibitive things. Uh, for some lenders, they will. For some lenders, they won't. But it's, again, talking points that you need to be prepared for. So just one last thing. Uh, Sorry, the conversion from my PowerPoint to, to his made us a little messy, but, <laughs> but you can still get a general idea. So the reason I'm showing you this is because, you know, a benefit of Fundera is that you get to apply to, to the best of the best in online lending. But the cool thing about these lenders is they're offering a diversity of product. So you're not just, again, applying for those term loans. You're applying for all different types of financing options. And when I talk about that borrower profile, I think that's important to know because depending on your profile is going to kind of depend on which product class you best, uh, you'll, you'll best fit with. And then you're able to really compare lenders in that product class. So you can see the cheapest loan on our, pro on our platform is an SBA loan. And our most expensive is, are our MCAs. So if you're a, a higher quality borrower, you come in, you qualify for all the loan options, but you're comparing an SBA loan and a medium term loan. You know, you see that the SBA loan is the lowest cost, but has a really long application. It's got longer terms. And the medium term loan has a shorter application. Just to, it, the terms are two to five years. And even though it's a couple points higher, maybe for your situation, that's a better fit. Maybe you just want fast funding and you want to pay it off quickly. And that's, I think, that for the first time ever, you're not just being able to compare lenders, but products too. And I think that's really empowering. Uh, but again, with the products, I'm happy to talk through this further at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. I am going to put up my contact information. I don't know why there's a big question mark. That is my contact information. Uh, so feel free if you'd rather reach out to me at a later date. That's me. How many small business owners are in the room? So you know how it is when you have no sleep, you're up late at night doing 100 different things? Well, that's me. So all these mistakes you see, that's me. Trust me. Uh, Meredith gave me some very good slides. Thank you, Meredith, very much. Welcome to make yourself comfortable anywhere you like.